know so much about Jose Rizal, our national hero, and yet we know so little about his siblings and their influence on him and how they continued his legacy. And so, join us as we explore the contributions of the siblings of Jose Rizal to his life. Let's begin the journey with the stories of the two eldest children of the Rizals, as told by the great grandson of Saturnina. What can you tell me about the story of Saturnina and Jose Rizal's life? So yeah, hi, my name is Ralph, a descendant of Saturnina Hidalgo. I remembered when I was still a kid, my great-grandmother told me that she cared a lot about Jose being the eldest sister she was. She used to send letters to him during his time in Europe. As when Jose was 3 years old, she taught him how to write, how to read, and even how to pray. And surprisingly, Jose was able to grasp their, not, their teachings instantly. So while Theodora Alonso, my great-great-grandmother, was imprisoned, um, Saturnina took care of Jose and brought him to Tanuan Juan for a summer vacation. It helped Jose overcome his feelings towards his mother. How about the role of Pashano in his character development? Now for my great-grand-uncle, Pashano Rizal, since Pashano and Jose were the only boys in their family, great-grandmother told me that they were very close when, especially when Pashano, alongside Jose, moved to Binyan, Laguna. My great-grandmother told me that it was in Binyan where Jose learned the language of Latin and Spanish, which was beneficial for Jose as he was able to use it when he moved to Europe. This journey then took me to Binyan, where I met a local lecturer by the name of Chris Lazaro, specializing in the lives of Narcisa and Olympia Rizal. How did Narcisa help Jose in his endeavors? It was monikered to Narcisa as the hospitable sister of the hero. It was Narcisa herself who aided Saturnina to finance Jose Rizal's education. She even had to pawn her jewelry and to some extent her clothes. Second instance was that it was Narcisa who took in Don Francisco and Doña Teodora when they were driven out of their own home in Calamba when one of Jose Rizal's lover which is Josephine Bracken during this time she was under suspicion of being a spy to the Spanish friars it was Narcisa who took her in in this case again one of the noble thing that she really did was that she managed to get the caretaker to mark Jose Rizal's burial site by putting the uh, initials of Jose Rizal so it's RPJ Jose Protasio Rizal <laughs> What can you tell us about Olympia Naman sir? Olympia is rather an interesting character it was also recorded that Jose Rizal really loved to tease uh, her, 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 his sister uh, Olympia because she was described as a scout sister. It was during his uh, frequent visits in the Concordia College uh, in our modern language. Really. But ito mo naman ako dito to his first love which is Segunda Katikbak. And when uh, Rizal was in Europe, it was Olympia who kept tabs with Rizal by saying what's happening inside the Philippines, what's happening in, in their community. And fortunately, Olympia died of hemorrhage, giving birth uh, the same year that was supposed uh, to be Rizal's uh, homecoming. Then, I went to Makati to talk to one of the long-standing family friends of the Rizal's, Don Rico. What was the part of the Sia Rizal in Jose Rizal's life? She's known as the partaker of the hero sufferings because she was infamously discriminated against because she's connected to Rizal. There was one time actually when she was unjustly charged with instigating the town's local kalamba na hindi na sila magbayad ng renta sa kanilang mga amo at nabigyan nga rin sila ng utos dahil doon na ide-deport na sila. Ito na yung naging simula ng mga kalbaryo ng pamilya Rizal dahil connected sila kay Jose Rizal. What can you say about Maria Rizal's contributions or part in the life of Jose Rizal naman po? 
Maria Rizal is known as the hero's confidant kasi sa kanya pinakakomportable si Rizal magsabi ng kanyang mga nararamdaman at naiisip. Kay Maria niya nga sinabi na gusto niya ng paksalan si Josephine Bracken noong panahon na tutol pa ang kanyang buong pamilya sa relasyon nilang dalawa. And he also told Maria that he plans to establish a Filipino colony in the North British Borneo. However, this just shows na talagang comfortable si Rizal na they could talk about many things. This journey then led me to a brilliant Spanish professor based in the Philippines to talk about Concepcion and Josefa Rizal. It is known that Concepcion is the reason why Jose first learned of grief. Why is that? There's not much we know about Concha because she died at a, a really young age. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Concha was a year younger than him, Jose Rizal. He, she was the one Jose Rizal adored the most. With her, Jose Rizal played games and told children stories. And it was from her that he experienced the sweetness of sibling love. Sorry, sorry. When Concha died of a sickness in 1865, Jose mournfully wept at losing her. He later wrote in his memoir, when I was four years old, I lost my little sister Concha, and then for the first time, I shed tears caused by love and grief. How did Josefa contribute to the legacy of the results? She is perhaps the first person with a disability to join the ranks of the revolution. Seizures had been a defining feature of Josefa, who had, have, who had been diagnosed with epilepsy at an early age. She was never l properly treated at the time due to the lack of medical advancements. She defies gender disability preconceptions and she was chosen to be the president of the Katipunan's women's chapter. She was also converted to Freemasonry and she preached liberalism through the Logia de Adopción in 1945. In my search for people who know a great deal about the siblings of Jose Rizal, it led me to an audience with one of the most prominent historians in our time, Professor Jose Gonzalez. So, what can you tell us about the part of Trinidad in Jose Rizal's, Jose Rizal's life? Well, Trinidad Rizal grew up in a family that highly valued education and patriotism, and we all know that her older brother, Si Jose Rizal would go on to become a prominent nationalist and our national hero. Trinidad Rizal lived through a period in our Philippine history that is marked with the resistance to Spanish colonial oppression and the quest for independence. While she didn't play a prominent role in the public sphere like her brother, her family's influence is through the commitment to the Filipino cause which, of course, contributed to the broader movement of Philippine independence. How about Soledad? How did she continue the legacy? Well, as for Soledad, not much is known of her other than she was also a teacher. So she was arguably the most educated among her sisters. And other than that, she is also a personal witness to history. So uh, everyone in the Rizal siblings uh, personally witnessed the challenges and hardships that uh, her family endured and due to their active involvement in the struggle for Philippine independence, particularly her brother, which is renowned to all of us, their family is very important to Jose Rizal because they're the ones who nourished his worldview, especially in the context of the Philippines. The influence of the siblings help shape Rizal's character, be it on a grand or small scale. Yet, it is still a chapter in his life that created a bond that's just within his own family. Rizal's brother and sisters are not just another characters in the grand story of our national hero. His siblings played a significant role to him as a family member no matter how minuscule or big it may be. Because if we think about it, without them, perhaps how the history would have played out would be completely different 
to what we know today.